up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Life Awareness with Fred King. That's me. Look, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Please take some time to go like, share, and subscribe to this video. If the videos that have been put up beforehand have been helpful in some sort of way, please leave a comment below. Also hit that little bell button so you can get notified at all times when I pull up new posts or videos, all right? Look, I'm not gonna hold you long. On this channel, we always wanna come to uplift, to encourage, to inspire people to go forward in whatever they have endeavored in their lives or what's going on. But sometimes, dealing with awareness, we find ourselves dealing with the positive things, but we never wanna face those things that are negative. Yeah, I, wanna, I know you wanna ask, how are successful people so successful sometimes? How are they so aware, and how is awareness in being aware of the alibis that we tell leads to our success. Well, today I'm going to let you know. I'm going to tell you what they are. I'm going to tell you why they're harmful to us. And I'm going to give you probably two or three steps that's going to help us, myself included, um, help you and help us to continue being more aware and becoming more masters of this thing called awareness, okay? But today we're going to deal with the subject of alibis. So what are alibis? I know you may say alibis um, are excuses. Alibis are things that we may lie. Alibis may be things that we're not completely telling the truth. And guess what? They all line up. An alibi is an excuse we give to justify our actions. It's a way basically of avoiding responsibility uh, and shifting the blame towards other people, not taking our own ownership, you know? So uh, some people may call it in the external circumstances, whatever that may mean. I was reading a book and they called it that. But it's basically that we're not taking responsibility of ourselves and our own actions. And they can come in many forms. I wanna let you know that, all right? So when I say form, they can come in a form of blaming others. Um, we can blame others for the lack of resources instead of getting up and going and getting myself. And we can even use those in our own past experience. They can be very, very habitual, which means that they can become a habit inside of our lives. And that's what stops us from going and doing and achieving the things that we want to um, achieve. So that's one way that they can be harmful. So also, they can prevent us from taking the responsibility. I just said that before for our own actions and the necessary steps to address our problems. Let me say that one more time. They can prevent us from taking responsibility of our own actions and the necessary steps to address our own problems. I think a lot of that is going on in the world today. A lot of us from the political standpoint, from a personal standpoint, from a business aspect, we don't want to take responsibility. We don't want to take ownership of what we cause because we're making alibis or excuses. And then we don't want to take sometimes the necessary steps to make sure that those things are better or put in place so we won't continue those habits that we have. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is who I am. This is where I want to be. This is my comfort zone. But the question is this. Are you happy with where you are? Are you successful with where you are? If you're not, if your answer is no to any one of those questions, we got to look at the excuses, the alibis that we're making not only to ourselves, but to those people that are around us, all right? So, you know, alibis can damage our relationships, just like I said. Well, we can blame other people for why we're not successful when all we got to do, uh, do is get up and make a move and change that habitual thing. So, how do you identify them? We identify them like this. One way is to examine our patterns. 
What does it mean to examine our patterns? To examine our patterns, what are we doing every day? What are we doing with our time? What are we entertaining? What are we um, constantly doing? Are people moving away from us? Are people moving closer to us? We can look at are we broke all the time or do we save money? Those are just some of the things. So you can look at anything. If it has a positive effect, nine times out of 10, you're not really using an excuse or an alibi. But if it's having a negative effect on your life, then guess what? You may be using an alibi. And that's one, something we want to be mindful of. We also want to be mindful of uh, that behavior, but we also want to be mindful of our thoughts. Are we ex uh, making excuses or having alibis for the things that we know that needs to get done, but we're not doing? So we're just, why did you do that? Why did you do that? So everything is always blaming excuses or always having an excuse or exit strategy instead of taking responsibility on what may have caused um, the cause and effect reaction in our lives. Look, alibis are just that dangerous, all right? Another way that we can get over alibis is trust our friends and family members to tell us valuable insight that we can't see. Sometimes you don't know until a person comes along and tell you what you don't know. And when you think you know, a person comes along and tell you what you think you know, but you really don't know. If a person is coming to you saying that, that's an excuse. If a person is saying that you're not successful, you're not doing this um, the way that it is planned to be, and you begin to defend yourself and have an excuse, then you're using an alibi or an excuse in that matter. So friends and families, our trusted ones, our spiritual advisor, our mentors, our spouses, they can point these things out to us. Because sometimes when we're in the midst, we cannot see ourselves. It takes an outside resource to come in to show us us. But it's up to us to accept it, fix it, and move forward into the betterment of our lives and our communities and all the things that are effective around us, all right? So with that being said, I'm going to give you two quick steps on how to overcome alibis. The first one is this. We got to acknowledge Take ownership, take responsibility for our actions. We need to recognize that we control uh, our thoughts, we control our behaviors, and we can uh, choose to, we take control and choose to change them as they are brought to our attention. So that's the first step. The second step is this. We need to refrain or stop thinking and focusing on a solution rather than excuses. Anytime somebody comes to our sphere of influence and they begin to tell us about ourselves, we should always be mindful to take things that are said or pointed out into consideration, which means that first step, we have to be able to listen, not in a point of wanting to respond to everything all the time, because then you're defending yourself. But take responsibility and then find solutions rather than make excuses. So things like, how can I do this? Finally, or, or why can't I do this? But move into how can I do this? So the wording in your language begins to change. So we do this also, we gotta share our goals with those members, making sure that they hold us responsible and accountable for our own actions. So. Those are just two, but I'm gonna dive a little deeper into this later on this week, dealing with alibis. So just know, as we move forward, alibis can really distract us from our personal growth and achieving our goals. I know sometimes this is not something that we really wanna talk about. The growth and development side seems to always, you're doing this and positive, but you, we, have to learn to deal with the negative also. There's some things in my life that I'm still correcting. I don't have it all together. But guess what? I'm working on them because I've identified them. I've seen that they're hindering me from moving forward to where I am chosen to be. And hey, all about taking self-responsibility. That's the first step. Always have to take ownership 
of our own progress. And if we're not doing that, we are stagnated and we stagnate.